God. God's grace is actually a person. Amen? We say grace of God, grace of God. But who is this grace of God? It is actually a person. Jesus Christ is God's grace personified. Amen? He is a carrier of grace. Jesus Christ is grace himself. Amen? Hallelujah. And that is the vessel that God the Father used to make himself known to you and me through his son, Jesus Christ. Jesus is grace. Amen. Hallelujah. We all know our Sunday school verses. We all know that it says, um, we are saved not by our works, but by grace. And grace is nothing that we have done. Just want to tell you, grace is not karma. Nowadays, everybody knows this Indian word. Any white person all over the world, they've all come to know the word karma. Karma is deserving, getting what you deserve. But people of God, grace is exactly opposite to the word. Amen? Grace instead. Grace instead is Jesus. And what Jesus does instead is, you get what you don't deserve. And you do not get what you actually deserve. You with me? You do not get what you deserve, but you get what you don't deserve. You know why? Because the Bible says to us that we all deserve to die because of our sin. But Jesus Christ changed the whole equation. Jesus Christ is grace and he has taken away death and sin and restored us to life. Amen? What a beautiful blessing God has given us. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ, grace himself. We are not getting what we deserve, people of God. You and me, me included. Even as Paul said, he says, I call myself a chief sinner. But because of Jesus Christ and his grace, I'm able to speak to you. And this morning I say the same thing. You can put your name. Maybe you know yourself better than I know you. And we know the things that we have done. We know the lives that we have lived. But for the grace of God that you and me are sitting here this morning. Amen. Amazing grace of Jesus Christ. This morning God is instructing us. The Spirit of God wants to encourage you and me to love God. And he's instructing us to position ourselves in line with grace. And let me define to you, grace is Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus is pure grace. And without him, you and me would never exist today. So people of God, the importance of positioning yourself to meet with grace. Because Jesus himself impacts our human life and our spiritual life right here on earth. Amen? He has to impact us both physically and spiritually on this earth that we are living. Because there's no point. If we are not impacted, we are never going to see heaven. We are thinking, oh, when I go to heaven, yes, yes, it's going to be glorious. But you're not going to go to heaven if you're not impacted on the earth. Amen? And unless you position yourself to come into the line of grace, then Jesus Christ is not going to be able to impact you. I tell you this morning. And as I was reading, I was just uh, looking through, and I came across the saying by Donald Whitney. It says, spiritual discipline are ways where we can place ourselves in the path of God's grace. Amen? So we need a little bit of discipline in our spiritual life. We have a lot of discipline in our day-to-day physical lives, right? Get up early, do this, go to school, come back, go to work, come back, clean the house. A lot of little disciplines which makes life run. But in our spiritual life also, we need spiritual disciplines. And let's start with the very small things, because sometimes we think spiritual discipline is Oh, it's not for me. I can't attain that. No, it's not. You can't attain. Start with the baby steps. Very first thing, acknowledge God in your life. But the Spirit of God is asking us this morning, He says, a little bit of change. He says, move. And I want you, He says, to align yourself with grace this morning. Because He said, it's my pleasure to bless you. People of God, let's not put on a cry on your face and say, I'm not blessed, I'm not blessed. He's got this, she's got this. They are blessed with the gift. No, God wants to bless you too. And this morning, God says, still in the very first month of the year, He said, I want to instruct you so that you can position yourself in the line of grace. Amen? Position yourself with Jesus. Nothing else matters, people of God. The Spirit of God, whom God has given us, 
He glorifies Jesus in everything. Amen. That is the spirit of the that is the job of the Holy Spirit to glorify Jesus Christ. So all you got to do is align yourself with Jesus Christ, who is grace. Amen.